Hello everybody and welcome to 11 expensive VHS tapes sold. These are all going to be new and sealed and it's crazy the value that some of these movies have gotten to the point and it's a whole new world than it was 20 years ago when it comes to VHS tapes. First up we've got Ghostbusters sealed with the watermark on it. Sold price $1,600. On stuff like this, you always want to keep the original price tag on because there's a lot of value in keeping that nostalgia also when it comes to the price, the sticker, and even where it came from. This is the watermark that is uh, stated in the uh, title of it. So that kind of shows it's factory sealed. So that's a nice way of knowing it wasn't repackaged by somebody and trying to fool somebody. It's a very nice piece right there, Ghostbusters VHS. Number 10 on this list, and I can't do this list without including uh, Back to the Future. Back to the Future, another sealed VHS tape that is climbing. Even the uh, VHS Back to the Future that you were able to get from McDonald's back in the day uh, sell for decent money. But this one sold for $1,600. Again, keeping that original price tag on there. It's always a very nice touch keeping those on. Uh, showing the little holes in it. And that's going to happen from time to time on some VHS tapes, or for anything sealed for this long, actually. But, because they're usually uh, put on with a heat source to kind of shrink it, so it's not uncommon. Number nine, The Fury VHS tape. Was asking 1800 for it, did accept the best offer on it. The Fury, another when it comes to classic um, horror movies, there's always good money in those movies. So, and the more obscure the movie, the better. Next up, we've got The Shining in the clam shell case. Still sealed, sold for $1,850. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with the what clam shell is. It's the bigger case like a lot of the Disney movies come in. So the shining still sealed. These are these are older. The clam shells for movies like this, not counting the Disney movies, um, were used more in uh, I want to say like the early 80s as opposed to or maybe yeah I would say early 80s before the, they got into the, the smaller slip boxes. So very nice piece right there. Well, actually, this ain't even sealed, is it? Well, it's saying it's brand new, but... Oh, it has the uh, sticker still on it, but the cellophane is, seems to be gone. So it is technically new. It's just not new wrapped. So very nice there. Next piece on the list, we've got Halloween, another factory sealed with the wall, with the watermarks and the price sticker on it, sold for $1,875 at auction. Very nice piece. Again, keeping those stickers on there, the nice touch kind of shows that it is the original packaging. And there is the watermark that is spoken of. The media going right down there. Not every movie is going to have that, so don't be frightened by buying one that's sealed that does not have that. They all did not have it. Next on the list, Star Wars. Classic, of course. Um, gray tape head. So we got this. It's sealed brand new. Sold for $1,999. And again, you're going to see little flaws in the, the shrink wrap, which is not that big of a deal. We'll go through these here. So very nice score right there. 
Next on the list, we've got Hercules VHS, um, factory sealed. And this looks like the bigger box. It's not the clamshell, but it's a bigger cardboard box. Um, was asking $2,000, took a best offer. Anytime I find these bigger boxes, no matter the movie, I go ahead and grab them when it's cheap enough at like a thrift store or a yard sale. Oh, it looks like you're selling more than one here. 35 copies of it. So there we go. So hmm, there you go, 35 co copies of one movie. Lou Ferrigno, better known as the Hulk. Next up on the list, we've got the Goonies, factory sealed with the wall, the watermark again. Winning bid three thousand two hundred dollars. Biggity bam! So as you can see, the wall, the watermark right here, Warner Home Video. Goes all the way around the packaging. Got the little piece right there, kind of showing it's still sealed also so very nice there next up on the list we've got teenage mutant ninja turtles sealed but signed on top of it uh, this is a looks like a uh, it has a pizza hut um, promotion on it a hype sticker if you will and this sold for three thousand eight hundred dollars Nice sign, and again, you you leave those stickers on there. That's kind of a uh, security measure to know that it was not repackaged. When you're spending that kind of money on things, um, it's best to have that kind of stuff on there. Now, these last two we're gonna get into number two and number one. It's kind of a new thing in when it comes to media, a newer thing that is. And we've got a newerish movie, Chicken Little. Sold for $3,999. But the difference on this, it's been graded. So grading VHS tapes now. This is an 8.5 condition. And with a you know a movie you wouldn't necessarily expect. So don't be afraid if you find one of these copies, it has the watermark also there to look into whether getting it graded is going to be worth it for you. It could take, I guess, about 50 to 80 bucks or so to get it graded. Uh, but if it turns, you know, doubles, triples your money, if not more, <laughs> 10 times your money. And next up, final on the list, sold for $4,050 with 17 bids. And we've got three VHS here, Child's Play series. So Child's Play, Child's Play 2, and 3, all graded. So an 85 plus on 1 and 2, and an 80 plus on 3. Again, we have the uh, price stickers left on the box. And that doesn't really affect the grading, it appears, because this one does not have those stickers. So not sure if it helps the grading uh, in a situation like this. I don't, I don't have details on how they're graded. But always keep an eye out for those sealed VHS tapes because you never know when one of them is going to end up earning you a lot of money. All right. Thanks, everybody, and we will see you in the next video. Later.